Good morning everybody, welcome back to Visit File Coast. You might think that a tram and a bus is a very strange thing to begin on, but all will become clear as we walk across the road and round the corner because today we're going to go and look at the Euston Gardens on Fleetwood Seafront. So this transport interchange, for want of a better way to call it, at Fleetwood Ferry is quite relevant because anybody who is partial to a bit of Fleetwood local history will know that the North Euston Hotel was originally a convergence point for Victorian travellers when they were making their journeys to the Lake District. I'm just hesitating because I'm just going to show you these lovely pots. Aren't they pretty? They look really nice. Fleetwood Town Council look after them. And it's still a convergence point at this spot now for modern day travellers because as we've just seen we've got the we've got the um, tram and the bus stop so you can get from one to the other and then at the other side of the road just sort of round there is the stop for, for Fleetwood Ferry. So that's the Euston as you've just seen and that's the lower lighthouse of which Fleetwood has two on land. I'm going to just show you this one before we go in the, the park. And that's the upper lighthouse. So there is of course a third one out in the channel of the River Wire, which you can just see between that gap, which is the wire light that's busy falling down. So this garden is in what you might call the Victorian quarter and you can use postcode FY76BN to find it and it's full of all kinds of different memorials and stones and historical things. The, the plaque on this one says this stone shows the land and sea operations of the L&Y Railway Company at Fleetwood circa 1875. Now I think L&Y might be Lancashire and Yorkshire. Do you know whether that's right or wrong? If you do, just pop a, a comment below. Presented to the town by Fleetwood Civic Society in 1976. So that's been around some time. That's obviously a lot older than 80, uh, 1976, probably 1876 would be nearer. Here's another one. Preston and Wire Railway boundary stone commemorating the first train from Preston to Fleetwood on the 15th of July 1840, recovered by Fleetwood Civic Society in March 1987. And the, the park is absolutely full of interesting things like that. So we're going to take a walk around and we're going to we're going to have a look. So, in 2015, if you've not been to Fleetwood for quite some time, you probably think it looks quite different. Um, and that's because in 2015, the gardens were improved, the planting was redone, the paths that I'm walking on now were relayed, new planting was put in, the shelters were improved. That's the back of one of the shelters there, the, they, they face onto the sea. And the whole gardens were were completely um, remodelled. Look at all the butterflies on these plants. <laughs> Goodness me, there is a lot. I'm not be able to pick them up on the video, but trust me, there's a lot. Um, the f drinking fountain at the front was also refurbished. We'll, we'll take a walk around there and have a look at that in a minute. This obelisk is in memory of two lives lost in a storm in November 1890 and they were lost trying to save other people and in front of it there is another plaque as well I don't know whether you can, you can just see that there's a, a, a dedication plaque on that although the, the writing's not altogether clear and there was another one in the garden I don't know whether it's got lost under this I think it's rosemary is it rosemary? Let's have a smell. Rosemary. It smells lovely that. There was another one underneath that so that might have been moved actually. Um, and that was from 1985 dedicated to people who'd lost their lives at sea. 
So, bearing in mind we're looking at him, we'll go and have a look at Sir Peter. So this is Sir Peter Hesketh Fleetwood. And he was put at the heart of the town that he founded in 2018 by a conglomeration of Fleetwood Civic Society, Fleetwood Museum and Fleetwood Rotary Club. Because would you believe <laughs> that he was the only statue that was missing? Now I've got a bit of a sun problem here because it's quite early in the morning and the sun's not on his face yet so we'll have to, we'll have to make do with the side view. So he was the guy who it was all attributed to and he stood famously at the top of the sand dune that was to become the mount with Decimus Burton and laid out the pattern of streets and, and all that sand dune area was um, rabbit warren and you can see he's got a little bunny rabbit at his feet. And there is, a, there is a dedication at the bottom of that. It says, Sir Peter Hesketh Fleetwood, 1801 to 1866. <laughs> There's even some rabbit muck. <laughs> I just have to show you this before I read that out. Well, can you see it? Some little rabbit currants at the back of him. <laughs> I've not noticed that before. <laughs> so it says, on my own land, on my own warren, on my warren by the banks of the stream, out of this wasteland will rise up in glory a shining new town the town of my dreams and that's by R. Baxter and that is in fact exactly what happened so he's in his rightful spot in the centre of the town that he founded keeping watch over these lovely gardens and Euston Gardens have always been at the centre of um, events and things that have been going off in Fleetwood and I've just noticed that as well which I've not seen before Royal Visit to Fleetwood September 20th 1847 now that brings me on to something else because there's a cannon here and the logical conclusion is that because the Euston was a school of musketry from 1861 to 67 the logical conclusion is that the cannon is connected to the school of musketry However, Maureen Blair, who is a fountain of all kinds of local information, says it's from the cannon salute that was done for Queen Victoria. And looking at the inscription on that new stone bench, I think Maureen's right. So that's a, another one. They're all kind of dotted around and, and a bit hidden in the hidden in the greenery. Now there's some anchors as well over here we're we'll going uh, we're going to take a look at them so going back to the the Euston and the school of musketry after that it became the Euston barracks um, and, and there's a there's a long history of association with the war on the Fal coast there's uh, there's there's quite a few quite a few interesting things to explore which we are busy plodding our way through so these anchors date to 1870 and were put here in the 1980s just imagine going on a ship in the 1870s with that to slow you down goodness huh amazing and still in one piece well two pieces because there's two anchors so we'll pop through this gate and we'll take a look at the shelters in the water fountain. There's a, there's a full article on the Visit Fleetwood website about the Euston Gardens and its restoration and there's some really interesting pictures as well of what it looked like before it was restored. Um, so you might want to have a look at that. I'll pop the link for it in the description below. If you've got any questions, don't forget to, to pop them in the comments and we'll do our best to, to answer it. So this drinking fountain is 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 one good example I'm, I'm coming around here to show you the cherub but unfortunately he's got the sun in front of him so we'll go back around here so the drinking fountain dates to um 1890 unfortunately you're not going to see the cherub's face because if i do i'm going to blind you 
It dates to 1890 and it's in memory of two fishermen who were lost at sea, saving others. And in 1978 it became a listed monument. Um, and in 2018 it was reinstalled after it had been refurbished and you can see it's a, it's a nice job. Looks nice, looks lovely. And there's a link as well to some information about the the water fountain because that's that's quite interesting in its own right. This is the Esplanade with the lower lighthouse and the view over the sea and this is one of the shelters from the front. And as you can see there's a date inside this dating it to 1915. Goodness. And I'm fairly sure this is this is all original and was just repaired when the restoration work was done. And this has all got that beautiful view of uh, the River Wire, Morecambe Bay and the ferry going back to where we started in the um, convergence of transport the ferry is just at the right hand side of that little ice cream cabin that you can see so that's your guided tour of the Euston Gardens on a, a lovely day um, as I said we're chasing the sunshine and catching, catching what we can before everything goes grey and miserable and autumnal um, so don't forget to sign up for your weekly email newsletter and then you'll get loads of information about places like this and things that you can come and explore. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell for notifications. Then you'll know when we've uploaded new videos. Questions and comments below in the comments and don't forget to give it a like. Must give it a like. Have a lovely day now. We'll see you later. Bye.